Okay, this is a quick video on a knife I just got. And uh, basically I got this knife because I have succumbed to peer pressure, both from my uh, friends and my online friends. And uh, if you guys know me, I really like my inexpensive knives. I like my cheap knives from China, like my Gonzo knives and all those other knives that are in the $20 range. But for whatever reason, I keep watching certain channels like Birdshot 4, etc. And uh, these guys uh, are feeding my addiction as well as one of my cousins who's a extreme knife enthusiast and has probably about a $50,000 knife collection and he makes fun of my Chinese knives all the time. So, that being said, I opened up hopefully uh, not a can of worms because uh, I have a uh, whatever you would call it an addictive personality when it comes to material things um, I have many collections you guys know me as a as a uh, gun collector you know and maybe sometimes chief cheap knife collection guy but uh, I also have several other uh, things with cars extremely expensive watches uh, cigars forget about it I got eight humidors full of uh, every type of cigar you could imagine so maybe I'll do a video on those one day anyway I've held off on buying expensive knives for a reason because I don't want to uh, open open up uh, another can of worms but I got this one here I saw this uh, video about this recently and it looked good. Um, I think that it's, uh, you know, just do a quick overview, unboxing, I've already looked at it, but it's a uh, Osborne Benchmade uh, 940-2 and uh, it says blue class on it, whatever that means, Benchmade. And uh, this is the newer version, I guess there's a, a regular 940 then there's the carbon fiber version and then this is the uh, plain G10 handled version so without further ado we will take a look at this watch so it comes in this box inside the box is a bag inside that is a uh, bench made difference which I'm not going to read but uh, you know that's a box and then we have the knife so here's what you get for $170 which is basically about 10 times the price as I pay for my other knives like I showed you you know this Gonzo I believe was $17 so I could have got 10 Gonzos for the price of this but we'll see if it's worth it I don't know so, but I have it now, so it's uh, that's it. So as you can see, this is the G10 version. I'll try to get a close up of that. So it's got slight, slight uh, texture to it. Um, it is a. Let's take this off. This is a. Uh, this has genuine axis lock on it. Carry clip has been installed on the right side for blah 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 so you carry it's a right a right side tip up so anyway uh first thing about this knife you can see it has these uh anodized green spacers so i don't know what the deal is with that i'm not sure if i'm crazy about them or not but they're certainly attractive they're uh, different and then we have some nice jipping here and this is the access lock, so that means to open it and close it, you slide that down, even though there are thumb studs. So let's try it with the uh, thumb studs. And as you can see, this is the satin finish blade, and it's called a reverse tanto. So reverse tanto, because look, that is a regular tanto right there on this uh, other fixed blade knife that I have here. So this is reverse so you can see the tip of the edge is going in the opposite direction so they call that a reverse tanto so let's just quickly go over the specs uh, overall it is a little over seven inches uh, the blade is almost three and a half inches the steel which i'm really not into but uh, it's a uh, cpm 
S30V, which I guess is a pretty strong steel. I don't know if it's the best, but I guess it's one of the best up there. It's a satin finish, uh, and it has the, uh, like I said, this access lock, and it is made in the United States. So I have some knives that are made in Italy, and um, not too many that are made in the United States. I do have some good knives, but most of them are made in China, quite frankly. And uh, it's, it's a nice looking thing knife and the weight is i i don't even know it but it's it's light it's like two and a half ounces maybe um i could be wrong on it but it is an extremely light knife and i got that because i thought it might be a uh you know a good everyday carry knife so to close it let's see if this even works yep you just flick that access lock like that and you open it like that and then you push it down again to close it like that so I guess anyone who's looking at this video is already doing research on it, and you'll probably notice there's about 42,000 videos. So, was it say Benchmade USA on the pocket clip and on the blade? There's your Benchmade logo right there, and on the other side, it says the S30V Osborne design. Bench made, whatever, compat, patented, I guess. And that's it. So, uh, you know, it's a nice knife. Is it worth 170 bucks? I don't know. If, you know, it's a, it's a nice design. If you look at the back of it, it's a little thicker than thinner. And then, like I said, it's got this reverse tanto. Feels really sharp. I don't have anything right now to uh, cut in front of me, but. This is just really an overview. Like I said, there's plenty of other channels out there that'll give you extreme details about this knife, but uh, it's nice. It, it It's a little stiff. I thought it would have, quite frankly, you know, been a little easier opening. I guess it has to break in. I saw somewhere that you shouldn't really um, oil this or do too much to it. I don't know if that's correct or not. Normally I oil my knives with a little rem oil or uh, tough glide I have that I you know put on the mechanism but I'll just play with this for a while I guess uh, let's see yeah it's, it's a little loosen up I guess but anyway so thank you out there uh, my fellow friends who have encouraged my knife addiction to take another step uh, hopefully this is not the start of a whole new thing because I don't know if my wife could go through another uh, big buying spree so anyway so uh just joking she spends more than me on her pocketbooks and she was by a hundred times anyway uh quick video bench made 940-2 osborne and uh that's it thanks for watching take care